Good morning, Whitfield Elementary. Today is Monday, February 1st, 2021. Let's get into your announcements. Well, for lunch today, it was to be breaded chicken and cheese wrap with a bulldog protein power pack and a chunky monkey parfait and a PB&J. It's like three animals and a PB&J. All right. Uh, on to our first feature today. It's the Marvelous Monday Mystery Reader. Today, our mystery reader is from Mrs. Morella's Kindergarten. Let's listen to this super reader. Animals at night. The owl, not, not, the owl will not sleep at night. The bat will not sleep at night. The raccoon will not sleep at night. The firefly will not sleep at night. The cricket will not sleep at night. The fox will not sleep at night. The porcupine will not sleep at night. The raccoon will not sleep at night. But I will, but I will sleep at night. All right, teachers, do you have a student who is amazing you with their reading skills and showing some great improvement that you would love to feature on the news and want to showcase them? Well, send me a video of them reading and we can feature them as our marvelous Monday mystery reader. Remember, each night and over the weekend, you need to charge your device because, well, things like this happen. It's a snow day, right? And, uh, well, remember, as a snow day, the assignments are coming out around 9 a.m. from your teachers. Uh, and be sure to check those out from your classroom teachers and the specialists. And uh, be sure to enjoy your snow day. Speaking of snow day, when I questioned the kids uh, last week in class, what was their one of their favorite things to do on a snow day? They said, drink hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. And uh, did you know that yesterday, January 31st, was National Hot Chocolate Day? That's right. You guessed it. So good. She's enjoying some hot chocolate, I take it. Uh, so here are some facts about hot chocolate. Uh, because today, yesterday, and probably tomorrow are some really good opportunities to enjoy that delicious beverage. So, did you know that in 500 BC, the ancient Mayans drank hot chocolate made from crushed cocoa seeds mixed in with water and chili peppers? Ooh, a little spicy hot cocoa. Uh, and then in the 1500s, chocolate went over to hot chocolate made its way over to Europe because the explorer Cortez carried cocoa beans and tools for making hot cocoa with him to Europe. Uh, in 1876, Swiss chocolatier Daniel Peter created the first milk chocolate by combining powdered milk with chocolate. And then in 1961, popular hot chocolate manufacturer Swiss Miss started selling its first powdered hot chocolate that could be mixed with water instead of milk. So Whitfield, we hope that you get out today and enjoy some hot cocoa, either today or tomorrow. Um, you know, a snowy day, you're coming in from the cold, it's perfect time to enjoy that delicious, warm, chocolatey beverage. Uh, Whitfield, we are about to get into the ending in the pledge, but I want to put this out there. 
if you've got a student or you want to be uh, our pledger, please send me a video clip of you saying the Pledge of Allegiance. And uh, I can feature you on the news saying the pledge. All right, Whitfield, enjoy your hot cocoa today or tomorrow. And remember, even at home or at school, be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. The choice is yours. And most importantly, be the best you that you can be. Please stand and prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. Have an awesome snow day, everybody. Bye-bye. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.